Growing up, they really didn't know what was going to happen with me. I mean, it was it ranged from we don't know if you're going to be able to walk to who knows what kind of you know mental capacity you'll be at. Walkabout was just another time where you know I had to prove myself. I didn't really know what to expect other than we're going to be in the wilderness for 10 days and we're going to be packing everything that we needed. I was born with spastic cerebral palsy on the left side. I was glad I was one of the first ones to have to tell my story so that it was easier so that they realized like, oh, this is why he walks that way. Because it's, it's something that you can't really hide. It just it's just there. It's, it's easy to see. All of the lakes we're headed to are out that direction so along with Yosemite National Park. So that direction is north. Well, we're going we're gonna to yeah. climb this, uh, this slab right here. And uh, I'm a little bit nervous about it, but we're going to try my best and see what happens. We came up to a, to a river. And I remember the first step, the rocks were real slippery that we were on. And I was already feeling like I was going to lose my balance. I took another step forward. I fell back, tons of water just rushing everywhere and thinking all my stuff could be ruined. Uh, and this is only the first day. One of my guides pulled me right up. We just kept going. It wasn't made a big deal. They were able to still see me, not as someone who lost their balance because of some kind of disability like cerebral palsy or something, but just as someone who fell and got back up and just kept going. All right, guys, what do we do when we take the, the food out? In the wilderness, you know, we become close really quickly because we don't really have any other choice. I mean, you know, we're backpacking, we're living each day together and being physically tired and then telling each other stories to complete strangers really opens people up quickly and it's a really cool experience because you went in as strangers but now you feel like you can tell this other person that you just met you know anything it's something special about you know being physically tired <laughs> and being willing to be open with each other that allows for this kind of relationship My biggest takeaway from Walkabout was my own works aren't good enough. No matter how hard I think I have to work at something and you know my, use my own strength, that it's it's not it's not enough. You know, so that's something that God's teaching me that I don't have to depend on myself. You know, I have to depend on Him. See the